Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it is the amazing Victorian Interiors Pack from Liarty Studios which will be on an 80% flash sale on the Unity Asset Store on the 22nd of April. You cannot afford to miss out. How good is this pack? Well, we're going to pop inside Unity now and I'm going to show you. Sit back and join. I'll see you all in a second. Here we are, my beautiful badgers, inside Unity, the URP version, and we're playing about with Victorian Interior Environment from Liarty Studios. This is also available on the Unreal Marketplace as well. If you're using Unreal or if you're using Unity, I'm pretty sure I'm going to tell you that, you know, this is going to, this review is going to help you because we're going to be looking at the models. Now, this was, you. this is using just standard shaders uh, for the URP, no custom shaders put in there, so you can easily get this working with built-in or with HDRP because there are no fancy tricks needed to make these work. That's that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is there are no pre-made built-in or HDRP versions, which means you have to set up the profiles and the lighting yourself. Um, but do not worry. As I say, it's all pretty straightforward. You just put a, a new, put it into a project, a HDRP project, and convert over the materials to use the, instead of using the, I'll show you here, the universal render pipeline lit you're using the hdlp one and then you just gotta make sure that you add in you know with these textures back into where they should be going and away you go it's setting up the lighting and all the other profiles which is a pain in the bottom but there's a load of amazing kits out there on the unity asset store that help you with your hdlp project this is not a video about that but i'm also going to tell you that these models do come with lots now with the unreal version you kind of get all that lodding taken care of for you but uh, what they've done is they've exported their amazing, beautiful asset uh, artwork and they've put it into Unity and they've got lots. Now, the first version, if you haven't updated and you've already purchased this, do update because they've cleaned up some of their non-required lots. There used to be five lots on pretty much everything. Now, uh, the small things have got lesser lots, the bigger things have got bigger lots and more lots and, and, and there we are. everyone's happy. So if I look over here and I click on this cabinet, we can show you that he's at full stretch just over twelve and a half thousand verts and he comes down to 10 comes down to oh, that much there that that 11 let's call that one 11 because that's 10,900 and there's 10,000 uh, and then we're going down to 7,000 and then 3,699 or 1,716 tries in this do you know what I would say uh, I'm not even sure that we need this between the I would skip that myself, but hey, he's, he's giving it to you. And you've got the LODs on, here we go, here. So don't worry about it. Play about as your heart's content. And if we go over back onto the main camera, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick on the fly cam because that's what I love to do. Love to fly. There's two uh, made out scenes for you. And this is the daylight daytime scene, and there's a nighttime one with nighttime lighting as well. And everything does look beautiful. If I mush my face up, look at here. Look at this painting. I love the frame. The frame is lovely. The wallpaper is great. Now, one thing that I am a little bit put out on is that we get these beautiful windows, we get these walls, we get this wall decor that actually. If I pause it again, go up here and show you the wall decor is my computer's acting about today, it's a bit slow. There you go, separated. So you can um, change that for something else, not having at all, just have a, a, a you know a bigger wall. Um, and this is separated as well, so you can decorate that. We've got the top there, that skirting, the upper skirting separated. So everything is is modular, it's really great. But we don't have a door. <laughs> we don't have a door. We've got all of these amazing modular pieces for this interior. But we don't have a door. Because you could easily turn this into a proper interior of a house. Instead of just this one scene. We could stretch this this demo scene out. And make a whole building out of it. A whole house. Which would be awesome. Which would be fantastic. Which would be wonderful. If we had some doors. If we had some doors. We could do that. Because I honestly believe that. Uh, I, you know, I'm against the whole asset flipping. You know I am. But 
honestly believe that this demo scene would uh, really pop out and advertise this pack more if there were just was a bigger demo just you know a couple of uh, doorways hurt some doors in and show you from going from one to the other now I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. Um, a lot of the assets in this are these props that make up the, the interior and if I go back over to this beautiful globe I know what you're saying can we spin the globe are there any booze hidden inside it that's an important question to find out and the answer to all of those questions is that this is a solid object you cannot spin the globe which is a shame uh, it would be great if we could spin that globe and then you could have that as part of your game spin it but you could throw that into your favorite 3d modeling program and separate them out and try to do it yourself if you had any patience whatsoever as I say, there's two demo scenes. There's the daytime demo scene of this, which we're playing about with, and there's the nighttime demo scene. Texture-wise, what's his wood like? It's daytime. Let's mush our face against it. You know what? I love his wood. There's lots of different wood in this pack, and I think the textures work well. As I see up here, even attention to detail, that's the thing. There's a lot of attention to detail in this pack, and that's why you're paying that $69.99 full price. Even here, you can see that the dust and dirt in the the groups of the skirting i think that's beautifully done really do um as we go up in here are there any dust bunnies on top of this or uh this unit here there's a shame there aren't any now the question i know they're asking again is can we open drawers and close drawers which are very important questions to be asking let's click on them and as we go into this entire desk unit you'll notice that the entire desk is one piece now if we're going to play about and i'm going to put in um, desk here we've got an object called PF desk and SM desk hmm um, this is the prefab yep and the other. So we, if I go over to where this lives hello where are you where are you desky here it is so here's the desk and here is the model which is a shame it would be awesome if these drawers would open if all of these parts here could open that would be perfect i would love that let's pop back into this running scene that we've got going how about here can the filing cabinet open and close well once again filing cabinet much like the drawer is a static object of this shape and it's a, it's a, that that is a shame that is a shame because that would have been fantastic if again that can open the quality of it, it does look beautiful we are in play mode and it is marked aesthetic so i can't try to move it let's get out of play mode and if i click here and go onto the draw you can see it's got the, the colliders nicely done just box collider box collider box collider but no it's one piece that's a shame should we pop into uh, the other demo scenes before I rummage around and show you all these beautiful boxes and books and things? Shall we jump into the other demo scene? Yes, let's. By the way, look at that lovely map on the wall. Yes, it's separate. Don't worry. If I boop, boop, there we go. And the other scene. Where are you? Here's the interiors, daytime, and here's the interiors, nighttime. Let's not save because I've been clicking about things and i'm gonna put on this camera here i've made a little camera switcher because they give you loads of cameras in these demo scenes so i made a script very quick script for being able to switch the cameras i was very chuffed with myself with this even look it's even got a thing magic there to select which camera to start with but i'm going to turn you off for now so that when we do click play we can have the standard player controller from the new starter packs now it's night time and everything is looking a bit spooky i'm loving the lighting and everything does look very pretty performance wise well let's just say there's not that much going on so to kill your frame rate but i'm still getting a healthy 250 160 200 fps in this scene i've done nothing to optimize this no cutting going on or anything it's a very small little one don't worry stuff trinkets 
<laughs> stuff and trinkets. I love the wallpaper texture. I really do. And here we are in the third and final demo scene of the Victorian interiors back from Liarty Studios, which will be on an 80% sale on the Unity Asset Store on the 22nd of April, and then it will be on a 70% sale. I'm not sure you can ever get a better bargain than this. And the detail on this pack is outstanding. Here in the light of day, we can really see it. So look, look at the textures on there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a, such a shame that we can't spin this globe. I really want to open it up in Blender or something and, and separate them so that we can spin the globe, but we can't spin the globe. Oh, and the rug. Look at the detail on that rug. The textures really come alive. It looks beautiful. Okay, it gives you a bit of a headache, but they liked those colors back then. And here, the texture on this window frame. It's beautiful, but we can't open the windows, much like we can't open and close these drawers, even though the wood on these is beautiful. And there isn't a key for this lock, which is just crying out for a key to be provided. And if I look around on here, you can see the detail on this wood. It really is beautiful. Inside, even in this drawer, it's stunning. So why can't we play with it even more? It's a shame. There's nails on the back and clasps on the back of this painting as well. Much like this beautiful map here that's been pulled down. We don't have a closed version. We've only got an open version. Again, it's a shame. This kind of detail, it's crying out to be fixed. It's saying, come on, give us more. This, this wood flooring, stunning. They've got the wood in this pack. It's beautiful. But we've also got these light switches here. Uh, and we've got these plug sockets. So we've got electric powered div lamps. And there's some cables here for us to get some electricity, much like in this beautiful lamp. There's a light bulb at the top. And we don't have any oil lamps, we don't have any candles. Again, which is a shame. Little touches there. Uh, we've also got some post-it notes, which is an oddity there. If you're making a modern game and you're maybe a detective game or something, and there's some post-it notes, and there's a more of a modern looking mug over there as well. The paper in this pack is lovely. I have to tell you, X marks the spots over here. And here's some more files as well, bound together. Um, see, that looks to me like it's bound together with elastic rather than string. So it would be great if there was a string like here with um, having the string tied together because that means that it could be dated anywhere rather than only when elastic bands were created. The skirting boards there, that could be upper and even lower skirtings that would work for. Looks beautiful. And the boxes, the textures on those boxes are outstanding. And the books as well. Beautifully done. I love the modularity of the walls. It's just a massive shame there aren't any doors or door frames here. Again, this wood beam here is beautiful. It doesn't have a... Look, it's not... If I go around here, see, it's not fully... It doesn't have a backside to it. But you have it pushed against to the wall there. So you can't have it as a beam in a modular building in your game. So if it's not closed off, well, a version, like another version of this with a fully closed off one would be great. But again, you could just stick that in your favorite editor um, program and just clone the front to the back. And away you go. You've closed it off yourself. It's got the curtains, which is the same curtain flipped either side and then added with this curtain rail. And again, these walls and this wallpaper is lovely. I love the detail. It's like a little bit peeling. But again, look, give us a door frame. Give us a door. This bag is beautiful. I have to say, uh, normally $69.99 at 80% sale or 70% sale. It is a steal. But I can't help but feel there could be a little bit more added to this pack just to flesh it out. Because actually, with the count of it, it's 82 prefabs when all said and done. But... You know, you've got a pencil. It's one of the prefabs, which is a nice model. Uh, but then we've got the post-it note. So the same post-it note, but with different textures on. So it's not a unique mesh. So it's, yeah, we're, if we're sticking to that 78 that they're saying, then, okay, a little bit more honest. But it just feels like there needs to be a little bit more onto this pack. But it's a great start. And hopefully it will be expanded over time. I'm hoping. Now, this is not using any custom shaders, so you can easily use this in built-in or HDRP, but out of the box, it's in URP with the URP profiles ready made for you to play about. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Would I like a bit more? Yes, I would. Is it optimized? Yes, it's got lots, 
lots to the plenty and the meshes with the colliders are done great you know it's a lot of box colliders thrown in that you don't need to do anything silly so if you do like these i would like to see what you're going to make with it and pick it up on that 80 percent sale put it in the in the showcase over on our discord and tell me what you made with this victorian interiors pack from the rt studios and if you like to see more of these videos well don't forget to click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below to look for your friends rounded and people on the street that hey even though we can't take you for a spin don't worry i will light up your life with more of these fantastic videos so if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out till next time